Before we get into today's video, let me introduce myself. My name is Jawbreaker, and I am the creator of Play Pro Cinema, a channel that is dedicated to anthropomorphic female cartoons. As such, I try to do a little bit of everything here on the channel to accommodate to everyone's interests. If there's a favorite character that you want to learn about, I have the furry girl profiles for that. If fan service is more your thing, I have that too. The original Play for Cinema channel didn't have a vision, but this one did. It was created out of remembrance and protection. The remembrance part being is to help out the kid growing up who had no clue who Fifi La Fume was. And the protection part was to give a voice back to the underrated characters who for many years had been spat on by their fandoms for things that wasn't their fault. Some of those characters being Space Jam Lola Bunny, Venus the Milo of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. Regular shows Margaret, who unfortunately is starting to get a bad rep because apparently her personality isn't loud enough. And of course, the princess I have been constantly protecting for two years now, the punching bag of the Sonic franchise, Sally Acorn. Here is a character who has had her only main TV show canceled. Comic book writers in the past have had personal vendettas against her, trying to depict her as a complete bitch and even trying to kill her off. And let's not forget her personal army of medieval children always trying to attack everything she says and does. All because Little Miss Sunshine and Rainbow's Amy Rose can't get that stable relationship with Sonic that they so desperately desire. We call this shipping pair Son Amy. And Sally Acorn is their biggest target because in the Sonic franchise, Sally is the only female who has ever had a canon relationship with Sonic. This video is directly following the fact that we just had a hottest Sonic Girl elimination game on this channel. There were 12 girls. Amy was voted out first. Dead last. As I said before, I would be lying if I said Amy Rose wasn't a gorgeous female. But there are a lot of issues that revolve around her and it drags her character down as I stated in our hottest Sonic Girl elimination game video. In my opinion, it's a combination of bad writing, being seen too much, and fan brats. The seen too much part stems from the fact that she has been able to be in every Sonic media since Sonic CD. More so than any other Sonic female in the franchise. Which doesn't give fans a whole lot of time to breathe away from her being an annoying, pain in the ass Sonic fangirl. Here's where I'm going with this. The way you carry yourself, it can not only reflect on how people think about you, but it can also reflect on maybe your favorite characters too. If you are a very immature, juvenile acting person, and everything you say out of your mouth is Amy should be this, Amy deserves that, then you're probably going to start turning people off from her. If you handle yourself with some maturity, you can probably make a character that people are not so hot about look good. Unfortunately, that is not the case for the shipping parasite Amy, because the immature heavily overshadows the mature fans of the pairing. It's a pairing that not only wants its cake and wants to eat it too, but it also wants a side order of ice cream with sprinkles and a cherry on top. And when it looks across the table and it sees another pairing with the ice cream with the sprinkles and the cherry on top, it throws a tantrum and ruins it for everybody else. It's definitely not a pairing that has earned the right to talk about anybody else's pairing. Let's think of it this way. How many lunatics have come into the Sonic fandom through Son Amy? Two notorious names off the top of my head are Yoshi Wee One and a user by the name of Paul and Amy. Which brings me to our new guest here on Gone with the Fur Theater. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause to... What... The... Fuck... Is that? Oh... Right... He drew this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted a prime example of everything that is currently wrong with Son Amy, look no further than this dude. He's been making a name for himself on DeviantArt as of late... <laughs> I'm so very sorry, I think the picture is getting to me. He's about as classic as you can get. Delusional, hates opinions, and should be nowhere near a computer unsupervised. His name is Hop Up in the House. Oh, how the fuck is anyone supposed to pronounce that? You know what, I'm just gonna call him Paul. And oh look, he's 21. He's already a full grown adult. So I guess this video won't be that bad, right? Right? Wrong. I don't believe this. My friend actually said they hate Amy Rose. Seriously, I told them off and told them they will never be my friend ever the fuck again. I can't be friends with Amy Rose haters because no one is allowed to hate Amy Rose. So anyone who hates Amy and isn't a fan of hers are stupid and immature. So yeah, 
Those guys used to be my friends, but not anymore, since they said they hated Amy. Ooh, the irony in this post is so delicious it's fattening. Here is the problem with opinions. Everyone is not always going to agree with you, and they don't always have to agree with you. Case in point, me and my best friend for example, we've been friends for 10 years. 10 years doesn't stop us from butting heads because we are almost bipolar opposites. When it came to Yu-Gi-Oh cards, he liked Dark Magician, I preferred Blue Eyes White Dragon. When it comes to video games, he prefers to be the hero, I prefer to be the villain. He cheered on Captain America, I cheered on Iron Man. Iron Man 1! The point is, if you don't want to lose your friends so quickly, grow the fuck up. Here are some reasons why Son and Amy is a better couple. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's get the reading. And these are legitimate reasons too. Amy is the same species as Sonic. To be a good couple, you need to be the same species. That's why this couple makes more sense. For fuck sakes, you know what? I, you know, I, you know, you know, you know. I'm, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna buy a gun. I'm gonna buy a gun. I'm gonna buy a gun, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna load it full of bullets. I'm gonna load it full of bullets, full of bullets and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna load that up, and I'm gonna put it in my mouth right here, and I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna click the button right then. It's gonna be bang. That's gonna be gay. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. Fucking human beings. Why? Oh, why are we adding logic to a series that was never supposed to have logic? Interspecies couples are a thing in the Sonic franchise no matter what excuse anyone makes. It doesn't even matter if it's Sonic and Sonic 06's Elise. If you think Amy and Sonic automatically make a better couple because they are both hedgehogs, your brain must be made of silly putty. Number two, she's pink. And that color goes well with blue. Blue goes horrible with shit, bro. Like what that chipmunk is. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call racism. Number three, Amy is actually nice. She never hurt Sonic one time, nor did she threaten him with violence. I'm sorry real quick, guys. I gotta stretch. Ah, bullshit! You know which clip is coming, right? Three, two, one. And here we have seven more valid arguments from Paul. Number four, Amy actually wears clothes, unlike that red-headed slut. Okay, that's it. Somebody needs to help me understand because I'm simply not getting it. Is it not 2016? Did Sally, a couple years ago, not get a redesign and finally get a full-fledged outfit? Are those new clothes not good enough for certain folks? How is it in 2016 folks feel that they can still use that she's naked bullshit argument when she has had a full redesign since 2011? If it's an issue for Sally to be naked just like Sonic and the rest of the male characters, then Miss Amy Boom needs to go put some panties on. Number 5. Amy started off as Sonic's girlfriend because Amy called it. And that slut stole Sonic from her. You keep using the word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Let's clear something up. Emmy Rose is from a non-canon, discontinued manga. Within that manga, she dated Nikki, not Sonic, who was his alter ego. Amy Rose is a recreated version of Emmy Rose, who debuted on September 23rd, 1993. Sally Acorn's TV show Sonic Saddam beat her to the punch a few days before, on September 18th, 1993. However, the first ever episode that Sally and Sonic ever kissed was in Season 1 during Hooked on Sonics, which aired on October 30th, 1993. Also, you gotta love the hypocrisy of this statement. So apparently, it's not okay if Sally so-called took Sonic away from Amy, but it's okay for Amy to claim Sonic. Number 6, Amy actually has feelings for Sonic and doesn't need to use him for royalty and money like that red-headed slut does. Um, 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 uneducated statement. 
It's Sally that's the one that comes from royalty and money. Sonic is a commoner and is dirt poor. Sonic Saturn and Sonic Underground, by the way, are two different universes. Amy's not a slut like that chipmunk is. Okay, Paul! Hey, Paul! You, Jaws Sonic lover, and the rest of the special cases in the Son Amy fan dumb need to go find a dictionary and correct yourself on what the term slut means because it definitely does not mean what you think it does. Slut. Definition 1. A woman who has many casual sexual partners. Definition 2. A woman with low standards of cleanliness. Slut. You know, the more I do shipping videos, the more I'm starting to come to the conclusion that the newer generation coming up have no clue what an actual relationship looks like. Realistically, you would think anybody would want a relationship like Sally and Sonic. Two people who grew up together, they're like best friends and they can read each other like a book. Instead, it's fuck Sally. Instead, I want a relationship like Sonic and Amy where I chase a dude around for many years who refuses to love me back and even go as far as put his hand in my face. Who the hell in their right mind wants to be a Mordecai and Margaret? Give me a psychopathic bitch with anger issues who has multiple times almost murdered me and the rest of my friends for misunderstandings. Realistically, who wants to date a Hinata who has only had one true love since they were a child? I want an overly shallow woman like Sakura who threatens me and whoops my ass for the pettiest reasons. Let's go back to that word slut again real quick as it relates to the Sonic fandom. Sally Acorn as a character has only had Three other brief relationships away from Sonic. Knuckles is one of them if you want to count that and that was way before Sonic and Sally. Her other two relationships happened after her and Sonic broke up. Due to ongoing issues with Eggman, she doesn't get to date very often. And even then, her priority is not to dating, it's to her kingdom and to her people first. Yet somehow, someway, when she finally does get some romantic time, that makes her a slut. That's funny. That has to be the funniest damn word coming from a Son Amy brat. Because if the Sonic fandom had a number one slut, it's not Sally, it's not Rouge, it's Amy. A character that is so overly obsessed with Sonic that she would do practically anything to get Sonic to love her back. Which is why Amy comes off as the type of character who if Sonic plays his cards right, he can have Amy down on her knees in an instant sucking his chili dog. Now prove me wrong on that. Amy is the top selling Sonic girl. You have no proof for that? The main girl always has to be with the main Chagator. Hold on guys, I think I'm saying his new word wrong. I think it might be Kerator. Or Kerator. Right, I'm not even gonna get into that nonsense. I am moving along. Number 9. Amy is way more popular. Again, you have no proof for that. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure Blaze the Cat would shut that argument down really quick. Here's the last one on the list. Number 10, and here's the kicker. Amy actually has a pretty name. Sonic needs to be with a girl with a pretty name. Sally is the worst and ugliest girl name ever. Wow. Just wow. I'm sorry ladies, according to Paul here, if your name is Sally, you have the ugliest name on earth. I'm serious too. We know you're serious, Paul. And that's the saddest thing about this. All those facts make Son Amy a better couple. So unless you haters actually have something to say to argue against my valid points, you can shut the hell up! You're gonna respect the fact that I hate that stupid slut, and you're gonna stop hating Amy Rose, because she is not allowed to be hated on. Mm. Mm. And the reality about it is, it doesn't even stop here. He's got more of this. Here's what can make Sonic Saturn better. Sonic Saturn wasn't a bad show. It was actually a good show. But I think it would be better if Amy would replace that selfish slut- Here we go again with that word! Sally in the show. That was, it would be watchable. What? The username just- Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> just Sonic Lover and YouTube even agreed with me. That that would be a great idea. If Amy would replace Sally and Sonic Saturn, that way, Sonic Saturn would be watchable and Sonic would be around a girl who actually cares for him and won't use him for royalty and money. Because that fucking chipmunk ruined the series for all of us. The show would be much better if that chipmunk would be replaced by Amy in that show. Then it would last much longer. I'm sure all you fellow Amy Rose slash Sign Amy fans would agree with me wholeheartedly. Jaws Sonic Lover and YouTube agree with me on that. Oh Jaws Sonic Lover, 
I think someone has a crush on you! Yeah, sure. Not that I need to debunk this again, but I'm pretty sure if Amy was in Sonic Saturn instead of Sally, everybody would be roboticized. Not as a disrespect towards Amy, but because Amy as a character is not a brainstormer. When it comes to combat, she is more like Sonic, but less cunning. Anyway, moving along. I don't believe this! My 18 year old sister Sophie said that she used to be a fan of Amy Rose and Son Amy, until she read my page and now she hates Amy and Son Amy. And that's all my fault. What the fuck did I do? Also, she now actually likes that slut chipmunk and actually said out loud she's better for Sonic. I don't listen to her reasons since she would actually like that slut Sue. Why are there more haters of Amy Rose now? You know, I gotta say, Paul, I like your sister already. Oh, and she's 18. She's legal. Hmm, the possibilities. You know, Paul, I wanna know more about you. I want to know the man behind Paul. So I went digging around your YouTube channel. Here we have a screenshot of Paul's YouTube channel. And in the upper left corner is a picture of him supposedly. Isn't he handsome? Now when you look at his channel, he doesn't really have anything on it. He doesn't have any videos uploaded. Doesn't really have any subscribers. I'm not surprised he is subscribed to somebody named Amy Rose. Now, when you look down further and you look into his likes, you'll notice a pattern. So let's see what we got here. Doc Hollywood. Peeing in the woods. Girl wants to pee so hard. Nasty girl. Nasty drunk girl pees on the road. Girl peeing at night. Drunk girl peeing in bushes. Funny girl pee. Girl dying for pee in public. Girl pee in public area. Busted funny drunk fucking girl pee peeing. Try not to laugh. Funny girl peeing. Is this something you trying to tell us, Paul? Paul! Is this something you trying to tell us? High college girl desperately wants to pee. High girls desperately want to pee. Sexy pink girl, sexy girls peeing in public. Funny videos. Girl pees in public compilations. Funny videos, girl really needs to pee in public. Ugh, you nasty. You know what, Paul? You have been a really interesting guest here at Gone with the Fur Theater. So all I got to say is, Please get the hell off my stage. And thank you to the audience for tuning in to Play First Cinema's Gone with the Fur Theater. If you liked today's video, please leave a like and leave a comment as well. Also, please remember to subscribe for future content. My name is Jawbreaker, and I thank you for watching Play First Cinema.